Alright guys, and welcome to my guide on how to do the event. Alright, so here we re we're going to be doing the judgment point grinding of the of the event. And as you can see, I've been doing this quite a bit. Uh, the first two missions are fairly easy. They're soloable, no, no problem at all. But this last mission... It, you can solo it, you can do it with a group, but it's going to be harder. Uh, the enemies can get up to level like 110 or something like that. Now, what I'm doing is I'm being Bladestorm Ash. We have two Trinities, an EV Trin and That's a Blessing Trin. The and, the and the last person is fight. also an Ash for Bladestorm. Call me disappointed. <laughs> And I have my Decana Prime just because it's a great weapon. And the finishers that pops out every so often on at the end of the combo is nice. And I, I I should really not try to go head to head until I get my Berserker multiplier and everything up. Oh no, watch out. That is an absorb kind of thing, and if you damage him too much while he's in that, you will get completely destroyed. What the heck? Wow, immediately when I start recording, that's when everything starts going badly. So, as you can see here, what we're basically trying to do is kill these guys one they kill us, and I'm not going to that right now. Kind of focus on a blade storm build here. Even my normal amount of tankiness that I always put on is not enough. And so once we are Wow, one shot it by that guy and it's freaking I'm promising you, when the camera's not recording, I, I do much better. But after this, I will demonstrate to you guys how to do the uh, kill a detain assassination. Bladestorm is probably the most efficient way to do this. Wow. Seriously, as soon as we start recording, this is the this is literally the worst run we've done. Guys, let's do an assassination next time. Have you guys done the assassination before? I know Novatic hasn't. I'm pretty sure that's because we're murdering all of her uh, executioners. Okay, so for this uh, boss attack mission, what you'll want to do is grab a high damage weapon, uh, a lenka, a bow, something along those lines. It's quite effective at actually killing Tell Kayla. Really and um, for clearing out the enemies, I'm just going to use my Nikana here because they are just all 
pretty low level compared to what we've been dealing with recently. Now we can just uh, we can just go straight through to the boss here. going. Now for your secondary weapon, or for your primary weapon if you're going to be using your secondary weapon as a DPS, uh, you'll want a hit scan weapon uh, with a decent mag capacity or a fast reload. Personally, I'm using the Vasto Prime, uh, but that can be basically whatever weapon you want. If it's a projectile weapon, you definitely want to have a fast projectile velocity, as you will be seeing soon when we get to the first part of the boss level. friendship door. Alright, here we are at the boss room. Now guys, what we want to do is stand on the little on the little buttons and shoot the green targets. And there's a minor problem here because of all the rollers. Now once that happens, we get teleported up into the boss room, and here is the boss room, where Kayla immediately falls on your head apparently. Now down here, all we really need to do is shoot Kayla until she gets to a certain point of health, and then she will run away, back up into her little box there and she's going to trigger an orbital strike. Now, to stop the orbital strikes from happening, we have to do the same little thing with these pads. And... Hold on. Apparently... We're just going to, uh... not bring out the pads yet. Let's see here. Okay. Now guys, you want to avoid the orbital strike and shoot the green targets again. Oh, never mind. Now guys, I would recommend going around the perimeter of the room. Oh, you're on your own. Now all you want to do is run along the outside of the room as I was doing right there. One down. You gotta do the puzzle in the middle, guys. You gotta shoot the green dart, the green targets. All right, two down, two to go. Oh, that, that actually, that was three down. Up 
All right, Kayla's coming back out, guys. Get ready to shoot her. Again, again with the puzzle. Guys, you want to hop around the four corners of the room. Follow me. Follow me. Guys, run around the perimeter of the room. Oh boy. We really, uh, we really should have brought a Valkyr for the reses. Or you guys could just stop getting hit by the missiles. That would probably work as well. Sorry, I can't res you guys. Guys, bullet jump to the corners of the room. Just go in a circle. Kayla's gonna be coming down here and shoot her. you guys want to do is look out for where she is aiming her you want to look out for where she's aiming her little grappling hook and then shoot her when she lands there all right and we exit the boss room the same way we came in and we just run to the exit now Now there are a series of event mods that you can get from this. Uh, most of them are fairly common. The one that I know is less common from what I've heard so far is the uh, medic meta beam or whatever it's called. Uh, meta beam for the uh, new core. So we'll wait here until we find out what we got here. Target down. Assassination and we get the electromagnetic shielding, which is the worst mod that is available from this mission. So we'll uh, just have to keep farming. And now that we have killed Kayla, we have the coordinates for the extraction of the 
Rathum prisoners. Now, what we want to do with those is we can take them to a relay. And we'll just go into Larunda relay right here. And once we're in the relay, we have to give them to one of the two syndicates, either Steel Meridian or whichever one decided to take an interest in your particular event. Uh, in my case, it was New Loka, and I don't know which I'm going to give the coordinates to. So we'll just uh, run down here as quick as we can. And since these are near defectors that are apparently trying to join Steel Meridian, as far as I can tell. I think I'm actually going to go with Steel Meridian for this. And give her the coordinates. Alright, after looking into it, um, in the Reddit posts and everything, it appears that the only thing you get for the coordinates is Syndicate Prep. So, I'm just going to give it to Steel Meridian, because I think they deserve them more than the... My Marines are on their way as we speak. The defectors are safe, and that's thanks to you, Tenno. You've done more for our cause than words can say. Steel Meridian thanks you. You're quite welcome. Anyway, so I thought the Gwarnus belonged to Steel Meridian more than they did with uh, New Loka. So... New Loka might get a little upset with me. Let's see. Yeah, I lost 5,000 standing with him. Whatever. Your humanity. Yeah, they, see, they, don't, they don't seem to be too upset. So, that's the event. Um, if you want, you can do the endless or keep farming the. the you can do the endless uh, Rathum, I believe it's called. Uh, but other than that, yeah, you can just keep farming for those mods. So that was Operation Rathum in Warframe. Comment with any questions, and I will try to have them answered for you. Um, leave a like and subscribe if you like the content. I will be trying to push out more of it.